Welcome to our event today, Anand, and thank you very much for taking the time to be here. Um, I thought we could start off if, by you introducing yourself and your role within your organization. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I, I'm, my name is Anand Narayan, and I head the incubation lab for Selco. Um, and an incubation lab is looking at new technologies and new businesses that could be incubated that would serve our broader mission of, uh, of, of providing technology, energy technologies and rural technologies for the unserved and the underserved. Great. And could you talk a little bit about Selco's business model and how uh, inclusive its model is? So Selco is set up as a social entrepreneurship. So we are a privately, we're a private limited company in India. And we've consciously chosen that because we believe that structure will help efficiently serve our larger mission, which is to provide lighting to you know the people who are either off grid or you know where the grid is very unreliable. Right. And um, what are some of the challenges that you see in, across your various businesses? And I know you have different product lines and almost different emphases as well, and also within the incubation lab. Okay. So one of the challenges that we always have is that of human resources. You know, because it's a complex business, we need people who understand a little bit of technology, finance. So it's, it's been perennially hard finding very good management, you know, top management and middle management. We've had the fortune of having extremely loyal staff from the rural areas, but I think the bench strength of management is often very thin. And, and so that's a, that's a constant challenge. Right. And because we can't, you know, we can't burden the lighting, you know, we can't burden our customers with high cost. So we have to be conscious about how we manage our cost structure as well. Right. And in terms of um, not burdening your clients with the high cost, what are some of the ways that you manage to get across, across that barrier? Well, I think the big thing, what we try to do is arrange for doorstep financing, so which includes working with an extensive network of financial institutions, regional banks, um, to convince them that solar lighting is bankable. And, and because of our network of 25 centers, we're able to do that. And we've done that, it's taken a long time, the last decade or so. We do that, we use sometimes money that we've got at attractive terms mm -hmm. from either the IFC or REAP at providing an interest subsidy so that we're able to offer below market rate interest to our customers. And in some cases, to the really poor, we're able to use funding from REAP mm -hmm. in order to pay the down payment for that. Right. So we, we, we work, we, we think creatively with what we have to make sure that uh, you know, people get the systems at the lowest cost possible. Right. And um, what are some of the, you know, future plans that you see for Selco and the Incubation Lab? And, you know, what, like, what is a five or ten year plan? So, the, so, so Selco is trying to expand its footprint. We're trying to expand into neighboring states and increase the number of branches. That, and so that's definitely part of the plan. Uh, Challenges wise, like I said, HR is a challenge. And financing continues to always be a challenge because we're, we're talking of people who don't have that much money to spare. So, the, you know, it, I think it's one of those endless jobs to make sure it's more and more affordable. We're also looking at expanding our portfolio of clean energies that we offer to our clients. So primarily we're doing solar photovoltaic and solar thermal for water heating, but we're looking at biogas and other energies. Cook stoves is a program we've just started. So we're looking at diversifying our product portfolio for our target customers. One of the challenges is that it's, you know, you're not, the technician's learning and experience in solar PV doesn't automatically translate to cook stoves. Mm -hmm. So we, it's almost like incubating a fresh business. So we're finding that, you know, it's not as easy as we thought. Sure. That there's significant work to be done at figuring out nuances of the business model, how do we te the te te tweak the technologies, the warranties, the delivery mechanism to make sure we serve the customers. Great. And uh, finally, what are the ways in which policymakers, donors, or um, other businesses and individuals can support your work? Well, there are many ways. Now, donors, you know, we, if, if we get grant funding, we can definitely pass that on to people who otherwise cannot afford it. That's one me mechanism. 
we do work with the government. Government can help us by actually putting out sensible policy, by not distorting the market. And we also take grant funding for developing new technologies that wouldn't directly be operational. So if you're looking at technologies that we think would be viable in three to five years but needs market survey or R&D, you know, people can help us with funding for that. Great. Um, so thank you so much for being here and we're really excited to have you here as part of our event. Thank you, thank you so much.